Uh, when I started my business with Sunny Day Cleaning, I actually worked at the Olive Garden as a server. And although the management was great about working with my uh, schedule to build my business at the time, they allowed some flexibility. They also weren't the nicest people at times. Um, there were times when I didn't feel respected or valued or appreciated. And quite frankly, I felt like a piece of poo under somebody's shoe. And that's not at all how I wanted to feel. Um, and quite frankly, the clientele there did much the same. Um, if you've ever worked in the service industry, there are quite a few people that like to just basically berate and belittle their service and, and people. And that's just not fair or kind. And that's not how people should conduct themselves. And that's kind of an industry thing. You just have to kind of develop thick skin. And I was getting sick of that. I was getting sick of having to develop thick skin because people are so calloused and rude. And, you know, when I had a particularly terrible Karen one night, she I was not bringing her breadsticks fast enough, apparently. So um, she let me know about it. <laughs> and she also brought my manager into all of it. And I had to get a write-up and all kinds of fun things that night. It was just a really... It was a crapshoot of a night. It was just, it, it started out fine, but it, and it tail spun real fast. So if you've ever had a night where you felt like somebody else was in control of how you felt and how you lived your life that day, starting a business can remedy a lot of that because I don't have to work for anybody that I don't want to. I don't have to work when I don't want to. I don't have to, I can charge whatever I want to because I know what I'm worth. And I didn't know a lot of that when I worked at the Olive Garden because I don't think a lot of people ever teach you how to start a business. So that's what we're here to do. Here to teach you how to start a business in Billings, Montana, or just the state of Montana in general, because Montana makes it super easy. There's very little fees, very little cost associated. So if learning how to start a business to get away from the man is enticing, I'm going to teach you all about it. And we're going to go into more deep dives on how to do it. But for right now, I just want to talk about working for the man because for most people, it sucks. I don't want to have to make somebody else's money. I want to make money that is in my house, not enriching somebody else's bottom line. So um, I think a lot of times there's just a stigma with starting a business. I think a lot of people think that it's really difficult. And it is. It's difficult to manage and run a successful business. But if you start a business, there's really not that much to do. You just have to serve people well, start with a small focused group of people that you're going to serve and you're going to take excellent care of them. So if you can think of a really good idea for who to service and how to service them well, you've already got 90% of your business model started. So I'm going to help you with the nuts and bolts of how to start your business legally, and not just cash under the table, guys. So... Uh, that's pretty much it. I think we were, we're going to take some deep dives and we're going to learn a lot of things. So make sure to like and subscribe. Jessica Gilbert, Sunny Living.